Today we're taking a ride on the BioBus, New York City's only mobile science classroom. Okay, it was created by scientist Dr. Ben. Welcome to the BioBus. The BioBus is a mobile laboratory that travels to schools all over New York City and the country, bringing hands-on science education to the students that need it most. We are a field trip that comes to you. The students don't have to go anywhere. We pull up to the school, the students come on board, they get to use the microscopes, and they learn basic concepts uh, by doing the experiments themselves. Today we had visiting scientist Jasna Bruich. She is a professor of physics and she was helping the students learn about paint and how paint dries. Ben and I have prepared for you the most boring experiment in the world, <laughs> to watch paint dry and you're going to see how that happens. Tell me, what does it mean when paint dries? Look at that paint over there. What's paint made of? to begin with. Molecules. 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 But how can you tell whether it's dry or, or not? When it's solid. When it's solid. But how do you know that something is solid? Think that wall is solid? There's only one way to find out. You What's can't the go through it. You can't go through it. So but that's it's how it's moving. solid. Because it's not moving. Exactly. Seems pretty solid. So you see here you have a drying front where the particles on the right-hand side are very different to the ones on the left-hand side. How are they different? They're darker. And that one looks like it's moving. Exactly. So where they're moving, they're in a liquid, right? And where they're in a solid, they're not moving. So that means that these guys are already dry, whereas these guys are still in a liquid. That microscope would have been helpful two minutes ago. It shows you the liquid to solid phase transition on the microscope in real time, and they can really see microscopically how that happens. There's a drying front, and it's a crowded environment, so this is what in physics we call jamming. Have you ever been in a traffic jam? So first the traffic's moving, it's moving, it's moving, then they jam up. Is it really boring to watch paint dry? Like without a microscope, is it? Without a microscope, is it? And they love it because I think that they realize that the microscope world is much more exciting than some of the macroscopic world that they know. It's cool to watch paint dry. Yeah, it was it's cool. amazing. I thought it was going to be boring. I, but I, I thought my watching mind. paint dry was boring, it was so but it's fun. Awesome. <laughs> Bye -bye. Bye -bye. And you thought science was no fun. Wait until we see Dr. Bruich's lab. They've been collaborating with New York University's Materials Research Science and Engineering Center, or MRSEC. Did I say that right, MRSEC? Because it looks like Mr. Sec on the cue card. So MRSEC is a joint activity between uh, the engineering and physics and chemistry schools at NYU. And everybody puts their talented efforts together to try to discover new material properties and to design materials that we can actually um, control and understand. One of the things we do in the lab is to look at the structure of matter by making it um, transparent. What do I mean by that? Well, if you have sugar in a cup, or if you have particles in a bowl, or gumballs in a jar, and you want to estimate how many gumballs are inside the jar if you want to win the street fair competition. Step right up, guess the gumballs, win a prize. You can do it, but it's harder than it looks. Hello, young man, guess how many? You don't know. Why don't you know? Because they're hidden from view. You can't see what's inside, you can only see the layer on the outside. So the cool thing that we do in the lab is we make the particles the same uh, refractive index as the, as the water that they're sitting in, and so that makes it transparent. We color them in pink, actually, and then we observe them under a microscope, and so we can reconstruct layer by layer what each of these little particles inside the packing is actually doing. Oh, it's 142. Correct! What do I win? Soggy pink gumballs!